I recently moved to the UK and now I'm infatuated with the concept of Amazon. They come to visit at least three times a week. Thank you. So today I thought I'd share five products with you that I bought because I was convinced they would make my biker life easier. And of course, I'll leave a link to all of them just in case you want your life changed as well. My first purchase is called the Slack Setter by Motion Pro. And to be honest, I bought this tool as a bit of a joke because the job it's designed to do, which is to measure your chain slack, is a job an untrained monkey could do. So why on earth would you need a dedicated tool for that? You simply hook the forks on the slide around a chain link, press the top of the tool up against your swing arm, slide the chain to its highest point so it is at full tension, and then press this tube up against the slide so that it is marking the highest point of your chain. You then slide the chain as far down as it can go and the gap is revealed from under the tube in millimeters. It's pretty basic. But yet, the thing I never saw coming is that this long process to get the same information a quick wiggle could get a trained eye is now my favorite little tool to have in my toolbox. And no joke at all. Because even if you are a pedantic mechanic, trying to get your chain within the perfect tolerance, this is still more accurate. And the ultimate selling point for me is that you don't even have to get your fingers dirty which is usually my excuse for not checking my chain slack. The quirky little tool does all the grabbing and gives me all the info I need while keeping the grime to itself. And then we have this funny looking toothpick. Well, actually, it's a spring hook. And despite looking or even sounding a bit useless for day-to-day -day maintenance, when you do need to remove a spring, this is by far the best guy for the job. Now, there aren't that many springs on a bike. And truth be told, you can get away without a spring hook for years by simply using pliers. But pliers struggle to get into most places that springs live. They also tend to crush and damage springs and usually end up sending the spring flying whereas the composed spring hook is thin enough to get into all places and its ergonomic T-shape makes any nightmare spring less of a hassle to get off and arguably even more useful to get it back on. It's uncomplicated yet effective and is just a cheap tool that's brilliant to have waiting for you in your toolbox. Few things in life are as worrying as the shimmy to the rear of your bike when putting it up on a paddock stand and balancing it precariously. Or as frustrating as trying to check your oil level on a paddock stand, but the rear is too high to get an accurate reading. Which is why I got so excited when I found the perfect solution to these problems. Enter the wheel chock. It can hold your bike upright while being almost perfectly flat, all by itself. Although, despite being fun to assemble and even being a great spare tire holder, it does have one quirk. Well, technically two quirks. But let's focus on the positives first. It's a brilliant feeling riding your bike onto it and instantly jumping off because it won't fall over. It's liberating putting a paddock stand underneath your bike without doing the scary shimmy. And it is in the perfect stance to check your oil level. I also think it looks super professional in the garage. It's incredibly sturdy and even has a catchment hook for peace of mind. However, I got this specific one because it supposedly didn't need to be bolted down. 
and I like the idea of being able to move it around. But it doesn't quite work as planned. It needs to be propped up against something when putting the bike in so that it doesn't just slide away from you and requires a special technique to coax the bike back out. And finally, there are a few things to remember before even trying to remove the bike. Make sure that it is not on a paddock stand, the safety hook is not down, and that the bike is not in gear. Although, I don't know who would be silly enough to forget that. <coughs> Nevertheless, I'm confident that once I master the required techniques, it will be my new favorite way to park my bike. And I've at least ticked the strange long time desire of my wish list. Next up is the grit guard that kind of looks like a yellow torture device. In a less exciting reality, it's intended to sit in the bottom of your bucket while you wash your bike and supposedly lowers the risk of scratching your paintwork. If the theory is correct, the contaminants coming off of your bike will sink past this grid to the bottom of the bucket when rinsing your cloth. And thanks to the four quadrants and mesh top, those contaminants shouldn't be affected by water currents and get carried back onto your cloth only to end up scratching your bike again. It seems like a solid concept, but also sounds a lot like hopeful thinking. After a quick test wash, it wasn't looking very hopeful, with bugs still floating merrily on the surface and only a few visible contaminants at the bottom. However, removing the grit guard revealed all the grit that it was hiding beneath it. And although it didn't have a 100% hit rate, I assume the culprits with the highest chance of scratching my bike were the ones at the bottom. Of course, there are numerous other concepts that should be used alongside the grit guard to eliminate scratching, but if you're not a detailing freak, then this is a good place to start, and a simple way to wash your bike more safely. And finally, we have the Laser Monkey by True Tension. And this is the most excited I've been for a bike gadget in a long time. Because if there's one job I hate more than any other maintenance, it's aligning my rear wheel, with these incompetent markings on the chain adjusters. I mean, it's a cute idea, but there's no way that these lines on the swing arm and chain adjusters are the easiest, almost accurate way to align a rear wheel. And it always has me wondering how straight my wheel actually is on my next ride. But the Laser Monkey has a cool name, and promises to get your rear wheel straighter than it's ever been. Except that my excitement was quickly brought to a halt when the supposed included batteries were nowhere to be found. But not to be brought down, I ordered some batteries and went to try it out in any case. Which was when I realized that incompetence was the theme of this product because a simple part of a motorcycle had been forgotten. The chain guard. In my opinion, the concept is revolutionary. It's a laser designed to clamp to your sprocket and shine along your chain. So if the laser is in the center of the chain all the way along, then it's aligned. But if it's slightly to the side, then the wheel needs some adjusting. However, with a fairly straightforward chain guard, it was already rendered useless. So between the missing batteries and pretty big design flaw, we'll never know how good this bright idea actually is. And unfortunately, explains the Amazon reviews. But anyway, three and a half life-changing products out of five isn't a bad score for simply abusing my newfound access to Amazon. Share this video with a mate that might appreciate one of these products 
Let me know what interesting byproducts you found on Amazon in the past, and I'll see you on the next ride.